One of the things my, my father and mother ended up saying to me quite often is, why is a crooked letter jewel and you can't make it straight? Because I was like, why? 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 <laughs> I grew up in a farm in a little village called Falwater in the Limpopo province. It was a time of, of really exploring and I've been allowed to explore um, nature, ask dad questions. He was an amazing teacher in that regard. So it was in, in playing around there that I noticed a plant very dead one day and it rained and the next day it was very green. And so I proudly went back and told my dad, hey, you know what, there's something magic going down there by the river. And he said, no, it was too soon after the rain, you know, nothing goes green. 24 hours later. Jill Farrant is one of South Africa's leading scientists. Her dream of farmers all through Africa who can put food on the table regardless of access to water, irrigation, is what drives her. You have to keep your water levels constant or you will die. I'm working with plants that actually can lose that water and not die. And in putting those properties into a crop, it doesn't matter if it rains or not the crop will not die. If I'm able to achieve this, we can continue to have food security. We will be able to grow our own food. Mom wanted me to be a makeup artist at Stutterfords. And Dad wanted me to, I don't know, just do anything academic that was happy and made me fly. So I stood up there as the cosmetic artist and the scientist and I kind of said, okay, good, you guys, you know, here I am. I'm a product of the two of you and I've actually done what you really wanted me to do. Um, yeah, no, I, I'm sad that they missed that, but I guess there's some place where they are and they're smiling hugely. Thirty years' time is not a long time before we're not going to have enough rain, have enough irrigation to actually grow crops here at all. We have a biodiversity of plants here that is second to none. We can use our natural plant biodiversity to produce food in creative ways. We need to start understanding what we have. We actually have the ability, all of us, every single one of us in this country, to pull together and do something about it. You've got to get the word out there. The portrait was all about her relationship with water, her relationship with her work, and that water is integral to everything we do on this planet. Something about South Africa that's just in my blood. I mean, we're a country of diversity. We have the most beautiful diversity in plant and animal life and in, in people. For me, this is home and this is where I want to make the difference.